Hello everyone, welcome to the Archipelago live stream. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Liam, for those of you who don't know me. I'm one of the developers for Archipelago and Quest. So we've got a chat box just to the right of the stream. Be sure to jump in there and say hello. Let me know where you're tuning in from. Very excited for this stream because we're going to be taking a look at the newest release from our subscription series Quest, which is Quest 04, which is a set that I developed myself. Uh, so very excited to take you through this. Uh, we've also got the Essentials Toolkit that we're going to be taking a look at today as well. Hey Maria, thank you for dropping into the Q&A. Just to let everyone know if you can see the Q&A, uh, that's a great place to drop any questions you might have during the stream. And if you just wanna uh, drop a comment down just in terms of chat along through the video, if you just hit the little X at the top of the screen, you'll be able to go back to the chat box. But do feel free to drop any questions in. We'll get those answered later on. There we go, I can see some people now. Thank you so much for joining. Again, I'm Liam. And in this stream, we're gonna be taking a look at Quest 04 and the Essentials Toolkit. And it's very exciting actually, because we're also gonna be giving you the chance to win one of these beauties, Archipelago Quest mug. And all you need to do is just interact during the stream, drop a comment in, drop a question in, whatever it might be. And we'll be choosing someone to win that at the end of the stream, so make sure you stay tuned. Hey Lauren, thanks for joining. Hey Shanna. So let me just show you what we've got. We've got these amazing images to be uh, editing with Quest 04 and the Essentials Toolkit today. We've got 16 photos. So we might get through all of them, we might not. We'll just see what, what the stream brings. But just let you know, I'll jump into a photo here. Up at the top left, as we go through each edit, you're going to see the photographer's name and also the editing, uh, sorry, the capture settings uh, and what lens they used up the top there. So if you want to know, you've got that there. And the way I like to do these, I love it when people ch uh, tell me what photo to edit next. So you can see the little uh, number in the top left of each of these photos. Let me know which ones you want to see first or see next and I'll uh, kind of go through them in order of, of what you suggest. So let me know what you want to see. Oh, sunny Cali, I'm so jealous. We don't see much sun in the UK uh, at the best of times, but these last few days it's just been absolutely pouring it down uh, and it's forecast to be rain for the next seven days straight. So what can you do, UK? Cool, so keep saying hello in the chat. Like I said, you've got the opportunity to win one of these amazing Archipelago Quest mugs. We'll be announcing a winner at the end of the stream. All you need to do is comment in the chat throughout. 
drop any questions you might have in the Q&A box as well. I'll try and get those answered during the stream. And if you're very, very lucky, we might have a sneak peek at Quest 5 at the end of the stream as well, so definitely stick around. All right, we're off with the image select. So look, we've got Shanna who's saying image nine and 16. All right, you get first pick. Well, that noise was my light falling over, so that's a great start. Don't need that though, it's all good. Right, let's have a look. So image nine. Super nice photo from Danielle. So obviously starting off with exposure and white balance to be honest i think it's looking pretty good could be brightened up a tiny touch uh, but i'm quite happy i think with the white balance maybe just a tiny bit warmer i tend to err on the side of a warmer image awesome so quest 4 hopefully you've downloaded it already and are enjoying it but we'll get the chance to kind of go through and um, see what this set looks like um, and answer any questions you might have about using it so the idea behind Quest 4 was for a very clean set, uh, slightly cool toned, and it comes with a profile called Aurora that allows you to shift the color toning of the shadows from cool through to warm. It also adjusts the green toning and the blue toning in the image as well. So we'll see that as we edit with this today. And then we've also got the Essentials Toolkit. Uh, do make sure you've downloaded that if you haven't already. There are two separate downloads, um, both included with this month's quest. So definitely take a look at downloading the Essentials Toolkit. Um, in there, we've got some really useful tools just for co correcting your image. So you've got things like auto white balance, uh, lens correction, transform, and then we've got some uh, creative tools. Uh, so grain, we've got three different uh, formats of grain from fine through to more heavy grain. We've got a grain off tool. So if you use a preset and you don't want to have grain on there, rather than having to go into the effects panel and turn it off manually, you can just have this little tool panel open and you can just hit grain off, quite handy to have. And then we've also got the atmosphere tools. Uh, people have been loving these. It's something I've been using quite a bit since developing this. So these essentially use the presence tools over here to bloom the highlights and just soften the image so you can kind of see that happening there. So really nice for a bit of a softer look to your photos and then down at the bottom we've got three tone mix tools so these just allow you to adjust the tone mix and these work with all of the presets so you can kind of play around and see what what works for you but tone mix one just lifts the shadows up quite a lot so if you've got a really dark image you can kind of soften that by lifting the shadows uh, tone mix two flattens the highlights and keeps the shadows sort of roughly where they are and then tone mix three you've got a really rich um black point and quite bright uh, white point as well. So a lot of contrast, really good for backlit images or anything with low contrast. So some really useful tools. And uh, like I said, they're included in Quest this month. So for $8 um, this month, you're gonna be getting Quest 04, three presets and profile, along with these essential tools. So hopefully you're enjoying that. Let me just check in on the comments, see what we've got going, and then we'll start editing. Oh, Pacific Northwest. Yeah, and I mean, yeah, but you've got stunning, stunning locations around you, so you can forgive the bad weather, I think. Cool, so you've got some more numbers. Snow still in Norway, again. I don't know if you can complain, because Norway is just incredible. BC, amazing. Great stuff. Oh yeah, cool, Joy. You've got something uh, fun to come home to when you finish your vacation. All right, cool. Let's get into the editing. So we've got three presets, Quest 041, which is this one. That's a one click with Quest 041. Quest 042. And Quest 043. So 041, you've got that kind of uh, really natural, clean look to the highlights. So you can see the whites in the dress there. I uh, love the green toning that this gives. That was one of the things I wanted to kind of uh, make sure I pulled out with this set is some really nice green toning. So it's slightly desaturated, slightly cooler greens. Uh, with preset two, we've got even cooler greens. So they pushed a little bit more over towards the teal side. So you got a really nice separation, um, a little bit more richness in the, uh, 
in the highlights. And then Quest 043, we've got really nice warmth throughout. So this is a lovely warm preset. You can see the greens are a little bit warmer and we've got that nice kind of rich warmth throughout the highlights there as well. So for this, it's a bit of a tough call, but I think, I think I might just go for preset one. So like I said, we've got the Aurora profile. So up at the top here, you can see it's set to 100 as default. It's a nice neutral sort of look. Uh, dragging the profile to the left will give you warmer shadows. Dragging the profile to the right will give you cooler shadows. So let's take a quick look at that. So that's with a nice rich warmth through the shadows. And this is pulling it over to the cooler side. So what you're going to see with this as well, because there's a lot of greens in the image, you're going to see how it actually adjusts the hue of green. So it pushes it over to that blue side. You get that more teal sort of color to the greens. Uh, which I really like. I think it just adds a, a really nice amount of separation, especially when you've got a lot of oranges and reds like you have in this uh, photo here. So you've got kind of this color down here and, and the color in the trees. You get a really nice separation. So I'm going to go somewhere somewhere up here because I, like I like the contrast with the color greens. So 167. Uh, I might raise the exposure a tiny, tiny touch. Uh, so at this point we could kind of go around and play with the tone mix so if we felt like it was kind of lacking we could take a look at those but i actually really like it as it is uh this preset so actually quest for all three presets in the uh in this in the pack uh, they don't apply any grain as default so really clean look to begin with um, i know sometimes people prefer to switch the grain off so it's off as default on these particular presets and then if you wanted to add it for a bit more texture you can just jump into your essentials kit and you can stick a little bit of grain on there so let's go ahead and zoom in and a bit further so grain one incredibly fine grain with grain one it's very very subtle just a tiny little bit of texture which you can kind of see in any open spaces grain two is a little bit heavier so you can definitely see that um, across the image but still uh, quite balanced not too heavy and then green three is the heavy one it's got a nice amount of roughness to it uh, for a really sort of filmic look and then of course we've got grain off if you want to switch your grain off but it's off as default so i'm going to go ahead and apply grain one keep things quite clean but with just a little bit of texture in the background there so let's take a look a little side by side close up so really lovely uh, again, the whites in her dress here, sort of nice and neutral. Love the color of the, the kind of uh, ground down here. And then of course, if we take a look at those greens, super nice, really nicely contrasted against the, the reds of the bark. So I've got a question, uh, any suggestions for dealing with people with very red faces? Yeah, that's a really good question. So obviously lots of different lighting conditions can mean that uh, sometimes skin tones don't look the best um, and certain presets could accentuate that potentially as well. So I think the first thing really is ensuring that your white balance is bang on before you apply the preset. You can obviously change it after, but I think applying it without a preset on there while everything's sort of neutral and getting that very accurate really, really goes a long way to help. But if you're still struggling, uh, the next thing really to do would be to jump into the HSL and play around with the hue for the orange colors. So uh, skin tones tend to fall in the orange color no matter how light skinned or dark skinned someone is. It's almost always oranges and reds. So I would start by playing around with the hue. If you find the skin's too red, dragging it slightly to the right um, and do this sort of in small increments, but dragging it slightly to the right will sort of lift that out a little bit. So that's really where I would start. You can also of course decrease the saturation in oranges as well, which can sometimes help. Cool. So we'll dive into the next image in a moment. For anyone just joining, thank you. Uh, I'm Liam. Welcome to the stream. Uh, during this stream, we're going to be giving away one of these incredible Archipelago Quest mugs. All you need to do to be in with a chance of winning one is simply comment in the chat throughout, drop any questions you have in the Q&A, and we'll be choosing someone to win it near the end of the stream. So definitely stick around.
Cool, so I think we said 16 was the next, and then I'll take a look at what other uh, images people have selected. So if there's one that you want to see next, drop the number that you see in the top left of the photo into the chat, and I'll try and get to those next as well. Cool, so let's take a look at this image. I'm just gonna increase the exposure quite a bit. temperature it's looking pretty good I'm just gonna warm it up maybe a tiny touch somewhere around there looks pretty good to me so let's have a look at our presets so AQ041 AQ042 and AQ043 I think for this I'm gonna go for preset 2 let's take a look at our Aurora profile we've got warm on this side we've got cool on this side we could go either way. I, what I quite like about the original image is the sort of slightly blue color to the uh, to the wall just in the background here. It sort of offsets against the neon sign and against the color of her jacket as well. So I'm gonna probably drag this over to the right again. I'm just gonna increase the exposure a little bit. Uh, I don't think I need to play with any tone mixes, but if we wanted to have a bit of a different look. You could kind of go through your tone mixes here as well. Let's have a look at atmosphere though. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in. Let's wait for that to load. So if we wanted to kind of add a little bit more atmosphere to this, we could go for something like atmosphere two or three. Yeah, let's go for three. So that's got a, nice, a really nice soft look. It's blooming the highlights just here which is really nice. And then I'm gonna stick green too on there, I think as well, just for a bit more of a filmic look to that. And let's take a look at before and after. Yeah, I love that. So up here in the sort of shadow areas in the background, you can see that it's just added that sort of bluish green tone in, which is quite nice. Uh, again, if we wanted it warm, we could drag it this way so you can see the difference there. I quite like that for this. Um, really nice skin tones. Love the color of the jacket here. Uh, quite neutral tone into the uh, to the stone behind her, and then you see those pale blues in the jeans as well. So I can see some great tips being shared as well in terms of dealing with issues with skin tones. So increasing the luminance in orange makes skin glow. Yeah, that's a great recommendation there. All right, cool. So let me just scroll back, see what I've missed. So Laura says number eight, let's take a look. Yeah, cool, let's go for that next. And then I can see Amelia said three, then 15 and 12, cool. No worries, so let's take a look at eight. Wonderful, so exposure needs to go up quite a bit with this. And we definitely need to increase the temperature here as well. Yeah, somewhere around there is looking good to me. Cool, let's take a look. Mm, that's a tough one. Quite like the skin tone that we're getting with two, but I also like the cooler background that we're getting as well. So we're gonna go for AQ042. And I think for this one, we're gonna go warm because um, we've got quite a lot, quite an emphasis on the uh, the skin here. I think it'll really accentuate that. So if we go cool, you get that separation, but I think going warm looks nice for this. I think it looks really good with the tattoos here as well. So I think somewhere around there, let's take a look at lens corrections. So the three lens correction options that I've included in the essentials kit, uh, basically lens correction one is just a full correction. So it's just like going into the lens correction panel and just enabling profile corrections. Um, so it applies distortion correction and also vignette correction. So that's good if you just wanna get it looking really sort of clean 
uh, lens correction to correct the distortion but leaves some vignette in there so if you like the vignette and if it's drawing your eye to the subject um, you can choose this one and then lens correction 3 takes that even further so again it corrects the distortion uh, but it just leaves a heavy vignette in there so you get that really nice uh, draw of the eye to the center of the image I think I actually like the added vignette that we're getting with lens correction 3 in this so let's go for that and I think we could get away with a nice heavy grain on this I'm going to go for grain 3 Yeah, I'm not going to use any atmosphere because I like the detail that we've got in the tattoos. And then I don't think we need to do anything with a tone mix, but we could go maybe like tone mix one if you wanted it to be a bit softer looking. Just brings up those shadows a little bit more. Let's take a look at that as a before and after. There we go. So that's uh, AQ042. Got the Aurora profile set to zero, so we get that nice warm richness to the shadows. And then we played around with some of the tools in the Essentials toolkit there as well. Yeah, it's all about the drama. Thanks, Laura. All right, let's take a look. 15, I think, was the next one. So down here, this is a very cool image. Awesome. So I'm going to crop, first of all, because I just want to get rid of the bottle and the bag in the top corner. In fact, let's go for a slightly different aspect ratio. Let's go for an 8 by 10. And then we don't lose quite so much of the image. Yeah, let's go for that. I'm going to increase the exposure a bit, maybe somewhere around there. And I'm quite happy with the white balance, I think, for this. It's got that lovely warmth, which I think matches the light that's coming in. So let's go with that. Let's take a look at the presets. So AQ041, AQ042, and AQ043. I think because her face is in shadow, three might be a little too warm. So I'm going to go for, let's go for one. I'm going to increase the exposure a little bit. And I'm going to take a look at the tone mix options because I think one of these could work quite well here. Yeah, let's go tone mix one. And then let's play around with Aurora. Yeah, definitely liking the cooler side for this. Again, this is one of those ones where Having Aurora to the right and bringing in that blue toning in the shadows, just slightly cooler tone shadows, just adds a nice bit of separation, a bit more of a dynamic look to the image. Uh, I'm not going to put any lens correction on because I think, again, the vignetting we've got is really nice. There's no obvious distortion, so that looks pretty good. And we could go for a nice subtle grain with grain one. Let's take a look at that. There we go, so that's before and after. Let's go ahead and zoom in. Give it a second to load. So really nice skin tones, but if we take a look down here, you can see we've got that sort of uh, greenish tone, that cool tone in appearing in the, in the shadow areas here, which suits this image really well. Yeah, cheers, Mark. Mark said the wonderful thing about the presets is being able to easily use them for both landscapes and portraits. Definitely. All right, let's take a look what we've got next. Uh, three, let's jump back and have a look at three. Yes, love this. Nice indoor portrait. I know Emily was asking for indoor, so here we go. Awesome. So we need to do some white balance corrections and probably some exposure increase here as well. So let's brighten up a little bit. Feels quite green, so I'm just going to bring a little bit more magenta in. And let's have a look. Yeah, a tiny bit more warmth. I think 
somewhere around there looks pretty good as far as the skin tones. Cool, let's take a look. So AQ041. AQ042 and AQ043. I think it's got to be three for this. I love the warm toning that we're getting. Yeah, let's go for it. So I'm just going to increase the exposure a tiny little bit. That's looking good. And let's take a look at Aurora. Yeah, I think keeping it 100 looks pretty good. It's nicely balanced. We're getting the green of the sofa here, which looks really nice. Uh, but the skin toning is looking lovely. We've got a nice warm glow there as well. Uh, again, I don't think I'm going to do any lens corrections or anything with this. Um, and yeah, I think we will use atmosphere on this. Let's go for atmosphere too. I'm going to zoom in just to show you what this is doing. So let's give that a second to load. So this is atmosphere two, and this is without. So it's really subtle. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I think it's really nice because it just slightly softens the skin without looking too over the top. Uh, atmosphere three goes a little bit further, but I think for this two looks really nice. Zoom back out. Let's take a look at tone mixes. Yeah, I think. I'm Quite happy. I quite like the highlights that we're getting on her face. We could go to mix two if we wanted to kind of uh, balance that out a bit. It just brings those highlights down a tiny touch, but I quite like uh, the dynamic of having the highlights here. It looks really nice across like a collarbone and a shoulder and then down her face. So I'm going to leave that, I think, as it is. I'm going to go for grain two for just a nice bit of grain there. Let's zoom in and show you. And let's take a look at before and after. Yeah, I agree completely. It's such a beautiful photo. So nice. Water definitely tastes better out of this. I mean, coffee would be better, but it's uh, it's going on half seven in the UK in the evening. So I definitely couldn't get away with having a coffee this late, I don't think. So water it is for now. Amazing. So Maria says, looks like they work better on cooler photos. To be fair, they work best on um, correctly uh, balanced uh, white balances. So um, it doesn't really matter how you shoot. If you're shooting raw, you know, go with whatever you think. So if you shoot Kelvin, you keep it at the same Kelvin value no matter what the conditions. That's something I've done in the past as well, just to kind of... Uh, just not think about it and set it later that's fine um, but I would recommend uh, correcting it based on your personal tastes when it comes to editing for me I lean a little bit warmer with most images uh, but these presets render us slightly cooler so I think if you shoot cooler you might find that they're a little bit too cool um, you might want to sort of balance the white balance first apply the preset and then maybe tweak from there if you want to Yeah, it's quite a popular thing to do that shooting uh, in, in a certain Kelvin value and just sort of leaving it like that. Um, I suppose it just means you know what to expect. Sometimes it can be frustrating when you're shooting the same subject in the same conditions and your camera's interpreting each image slightly differently. And as you look at the images in your gallery, they've all got a slightly different white balance. So sometimes it can help just sort of seeing the photo and the composition and lighting and stuff and not seeing those changes in the white balance by just having it fixed. Um, but you, you will definitely want to adjust it and tweak it when you edit just to make sure that it is bang on. Otherwise, you might find you have issues with skin tones and things like that. Yes, Laura, editing cave is the best place to be sometimes. All right, cool. What is next? What do you want to see? We've done a few. We've got quite a few left. So we don't necessarily have to edit them all, but... Let me know what you want to see and we can jump in that next. I don't think I've missed any. 15, 12, did we do 15? We've done 15, let's do 12 then. Yeah, this is a stunning image. So let's bring the exposure up quite a bit. Maybe somewhere around there. And I think it needs a tiny touch. Tiny touch of magenta, maybe. 
uh, but I think the temp is looking good. So I'm gonna leave that for now. So let's go ahead and take a look at the preset. So AQ041, that looks really nice. I love what it's doing with the, uh, the green leaves in a headpiece, looks really cool. AQ042 brings in that sort of green toning in the background there as well. And then AQ043, I think it's gotta be one for this. So let's go ahead and apply AQ041. I'm just gonna bring up the exposure a little bit more and let's take a look at the Aurora profile. Yeah, I quite like it as it was set, maybe slightly cooler just so we get the, the kind of teal greens. I think look quite nice in this. And honestly, I probably wouldn't do anything else with that. I think that looks really nice. There's the side by side. So that's AQ041. Slight increase the Aurora profile. And obviously we started with an increase in the exposure as well. Let's rattle through them. So we've got 14, I think is the next one. Let's take a look at that. Yeah, really nice. Let's take a look. So I'm gonna use the transform level tool from the essentials kit just to level out the horizon. Let's bring the exposure up a little bit there as well. And let's do, yeah, let's do a full lens correction with lens correction one. I'm just gonna increase the temperature because I think the warmth is what this image needs. And then let's take a look at so AQ041. Boom, that looks really nice. Love that. AQ042, so you see a slight difference there. If you look at his shirt, it's just slightly, uh, slightly darker in comparison to AQ041. And we get a little bit more warmth in the mid-tones there as well. And then AQ043 is the overly warm preset, which is lovely for these kinds of photos. I think, I, I don't know, do I go one or do I go three? One or three, let me know. That's three. And that's one. With one, we're sort of keeping a little bit of the tone in the sky. There's a little bit more separation. Uh, with three, we're getting that sort of overall warm look. All right, so a couple of people have said one. Kelsey said three. All right, one seems like the choice. Let's go for it. Oh, wait. <laughs> now I think we, oh no, I think three's now winning. <laughs> one again. It's even Steven, so whoever comments next, one right, let's go for it. Megan, you have decided. So here is AQ041, Aurora profile. And I think if we go slightly to the left, we get a little bit more of that warmth, which looks really nice. So we've already got the lens correction on. Let's take a look at atmosphere. So you can really see in this image, if you look at the uh, the hill line up here, um, when we go to atmosphere three, you can see that really accentuates that. It just blooms those highlights. You get that kind of softness uh, to the image, which I think actually looks really nice on this. Yeah, let's go for it. Atmosphere three. Usually if I'm using atmosphere, I tend to use grain just so it kind of adds a little bit of texture to any areas where there's not much detail. So I'm gonna go for a subtle grain. Let's go grain one. And if we go tone mix two, we just bring back a little bit of detail in the sky there as well. So uh, or we could go for three for a more punchy look, but I think hmm, that is tough. Uh, yeah, let's keep the softness. When we go tone mix two, so it just brings back a little bit more of the detail in the clouds up at the top left there and that looks pretty good to me so let's take a look at before and after yeah that's lovely let's zoom in yeah I think when you uh, when you add the grain it just any areas where there's not much going on um, the atmosphere tool will obviously 
soften the image up so it might reduce details in, in certain areas. It's reducing the micro contrast. So you might find that adding a little bit of grain just brings some texture back as well. So quite a nice combo. And again, quite filmic having softer highlights, blooming highlights um, along with that grain texture as well. Yeah, love that, such a cool image. All right, so let's take a look at the chat. So uh, Anitra, the Atmosphere tool is essentially using uh, clarity and texture in the presence uh, panel uh, section of the basic panel sorry over here so when you apply atmosphere one you can see it decreases the clarity adds a little bit of texture just to balance it out so you get a little bit of that softness and um, these presets actually uh, so quest 4 already has a little bit more of the softness than this but this will be good if you're using one of the other sets whether that's an archipelago set or a quest set and you want to add a bit of softness uh, atmosphere one does that atmosphere two takes that a bit further and decreases the clarity even more just bringing a bit more softness and then atmosphere three uh, is the um, most rich sort of effect out of the three and of course you've got atmosphere off so if you decide you don't want it you can reset that back um, to the defaults of zero Yes, I agree. The wind adds so much movement in that image. Such a nice photo. Okay, what is next? What do you want to see? Let me know. Whilst you decide, I'm going to jump in and do 10. But throw some numbers in there. Let me know what you want to see. this now I don't think I need to do much with the exposure or white balance maybe just bring up the exposure a tiny touch just to make sure the subject is nicely illuminated and maybe a little bit of warmth but not much it looks pretty good as it was so let's take a look AQ041 AQ042 and AQ043 I think I'm going to go for one because I quite like the the slightly lighter greens in the background. So I'm just going to bring the exposure back down actually because it was a little high. And then let's take a look at Aurora. So I'm going to increase it just a little bit, 130-ish. Looks pretty good. Lens correction too, so it looks very similar, but it's just uh, getting rid of the slight amount of distortion. Uh, let's have a little look. Yeah, let's go heavy on the grain. I'm going to go grain three, which I think looks really nice on this. And then let's see whether we're going to use atmosphere. Yeah, I think two, if I zoom in, I'm going to show you what it's doing. If you look at the hairline, it's very subtle, but it just adds a little bit more glow around her hairline, which is really nice. So we'll go for that and then tone mix. Hmm. Yeah, we could go for a more bold look with tone mix three. I'll probably just increase the overall exposure and bring the highlights and the whites down a little bit. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So that's a bit more of a contrasty edit using Tone Mix 3. Nice bit of grain in there. Love the color of the greens in the background and the grass. Nice neutral colors in, the, uh, in her clothes. Slightly blue undertones with the Aurora profile. Love that. 
All right, so in the meantime, we've had a whole bunch of image suggestions. So let's take a look. All right, seven is up next. Let's jump in and edit this one. Seven, five, five, ten. I'm just on ten, so there we go. All right, seven. Let's have a look. Love this photo. So nice. So we need quite a lot of exposure increase. I need a little bit more warmth, I think. Just looking at the skin tones. And then let's take a look. So AQ041. Super nice. Look at that. AQ042. And AQ043. I am drawn to one, but I think three also looks really nice. Gonna go for one. Bring the exposure up a tiny touch, and let's have a look at Aurora. So I think I like it in the middle. Actually, 100 looks really good. Uh, when we go to zero, I think we lose a little bit of the the pop of color. And if we go too far this way, I think it ends up being a little bit too blue. So let's reset it to 100, and that looks really good to me. Let's take a look at before and after. Yeah, super nice. So if anyone's just joining, I'm Liam, welcome to the stream. In this one, we're taking a look at Quest 04 presets from our subscription series. We're also taking a look at the Essentials Toolkit and you can be in with a chance of winning one of these lovely Archipelago Quest mugs. All you have to do is engage in the chat. So, so leave some comments as we go through the video. If you've got any questions, you can throw those in the Q&A and I'll get those answered in a little while as well. Um, we'll be picking someone to win near the end of the stream. Yeah, Megan, I shoot auto white balance now as well. At one point I was shooting Kelvin um, and then I sort of switched back to using auto white balance. And I agree that it does help when you're working in dynamic lighting situations. I think sometimes if you have it set to one particular uh, Kelvin uh, value, you might find that if you're shooting in the middle of the day or shooting at night or you're indoors and you head outdoors, it can be a little distracting because all of a sudden the colors are a little bit off, but whatever works for you, it doesn't really matter if you're shooting raw, you can do whatever you want with your white balance. All right, what we got next? So we've just done seven, five is next up, and then we'll do four, and then I think a few people have said one, so we'll do that as well. So five, four, one, let's go. Super nice image. I'm just gonna straighten out that horizon a little bit. So I think it needs a bit of warmth just to get the skin tones looking right and increase the exposure a tiny touch. Let's take a look at that. So AQ041, AQ042, and AQ043. I think four is a little too much for this. So it's gonna be one or two. And I'm liking the cool toning of one, I think. Uh, let's take a look at Aurora. Yeah, so if we go for AQ041, so we get a slightly cooler look, but I'm gonna drag Aurora to zero, so it just warms up the shadows, which in this image is really our subject and the flowers that she's holding. Cool, so we could, let's, let's have a little play with this. So if I hit the M key or go into the uh, graduated filter tool at the top here. We could have a little play with the sky if I want to just bring a bit more detail back into that. So these presets desaturate the blues quite a bit. So in this image, we're kind of losing some of the detail in the sky there. So let's take a look. If I hold down shift, I can make sure that this is level. And I'm gonna have quite a quick transition. I'm gonna drag it down to the horizon line somewhere around about there. And then I'll show you, before we actually play around with the options in here. I'm going to show you how you can make sure it only affects 
the sky in this image and not the subject. Obviously at the moment, we're kind of cutting our subject off a little bit. But if I go down here to the range mask and go to uh, color, grab the dropper and if I select a color in the sky here, I can then use the amount to determine exactly what I'm affecting in this photo. So I'm just taking a look at the hairline really just to kind of see what, what looks natural, maybe somewhere around about there. So now uh, the only option I've got selected is exposure down. So we'll leave that for now. But what I'm going to do is just increase the saturation. Not tons, but just a little bit. I'm going to add a little bit of magenta. And we could even cool it off a tiny little bit as well. So nothing too over the top. I'm just going to play around with the again so you can see as I drag it left and right it's affecting more or less of the image so we just want to make sure it's kind of quite natural looking as it transitions to the subject so yeah I think somewhere around halfway is about right boom so there we go so that's a little little trick for you if you're using the uh, graduated filter you can use the uh, luminance or the color mask and select the area of the image that you want to affect so if we zoom in just give it a second to load There you go. So you can see that we've not got that sort of harsh line cutting through the middle of a head now. Um, the graduated tools kind of done a fairly good job. We could kind of zoom in here and just tidy it up a little bit, but just nice and simply, we've just been able to bring back a little bit of detail in the sky and it still looks quite natural. So let's take a look at a before and after. So you could jump into the HSL panel, go into saturation and bring the, the blues and the aquas back up if you felt like the image needed it. So nice and easy if you did want to bring any of that back. You can obviously play with the hue in here as well if you wanted to, um, but that looks pretty nice to me. So I think the only other things that you might want to do maybe atmosphere two just for a little bit more softness and very subtle grain with grain one and actually I really like tone mix one on this it just lifts those shadows and that looks super nice so let's take a look at that really nice you just see all the detail in the uh, bouquet here and in the subject's face and we still got sort of that bluish hue in the background there as well I agree, it does look like a dream. I've no idea where this is, but the water looks so, so cool here. It's like super shallow and it looks like it's really flat. Um, so I'd be really intrigued to know where this is. Really nice photo. All right, let's take a look. What else do we want to see? Uh, we said five, then four, I think, then one, and I've seen a couple of people say two, so let's do four, one, and two next. So we've got this awesome photo from Samantha. Just gonna straighten the horizon a little bit and let's bring up the exposure quite a bit. Uh, we need a tiny bit more warmth, I think, in this as well. And let's take a look. So AQ041 looks really nice. AQ042, again, super nice. And then AQ043. Now I think for this, the warmth looks nice, but I do think for this, the cooler look suits this image a bit more so let's go for so toss up between one and two i think one just because i like the color that we're getting in his suit there as well so that's aq041 i'm going to increase the aurora profile a little bit so about 138 
and that looks really nice. Let's take a look at before and after. Super easy. All right, let's keep going. So one and then two. So let's increase the exposure here. Bring the warmth up just a tiny touch and then let's take a look. So that's one, that's preset two, and preset three. I think two looks really nice for this. Let's take a look at Aurora. Yeah, I think down a little bit just so we're bringing a bit more warmth into the shadow area and that looks really nice. Just gonna bring the exposure down somewhere around about there. And there's a before and after. Uh, tone mixers, we could go for tone mix too if you want to dial the highlights down, but I think this looks really nice as it is. And then let's take a look at two. So beautifully backlit image with this lovely warm glow. Just gonna increase the exposure a tiny bit. Make sure we've got a nice amount of warmth just to match the light that's in here. And then let's take a look. I think for this I'm gonna go for. Oh, I don't know actually. Hmm. I'm going to go for one because I like what it's doing with the skin tones. And I'm going to increase Aurora because I like the separation again between this sort of area here and then the warm light. So we're just adding a little bit of uh, cool toning down here. I think if it's over this way, you get that consistent warmth, which looks really nice as well. But I do really like just adding a bit of cool toning just for a bit more of a dynamic look. Uh, tone mix. Yeah, this is one of those situations where tone mix three is a really good option. Um, so if you've got backlight and you're losing quite a lot of contrast, this can help with that. So I can actually dial my uh, exposure down a little bit. And we could go for a subtle glow with atmosphere two. Let's stick on a grain. Grain two looks quite nice. And I don't think I'm going to do any lens correction because, again, I like the, yeah, no, I like the amount of vignette that we've got here. So I can actually darken that down again. Yeah, that looks super nice. There's a before and after. So that was AQ041. Aurora profile increased a little bit, and then we played around with some of the, the tools to add some grain and to also just make it pop a little bit more by using the tone mix three tool there as well. So give that a second to load. Yeah. So if you wanted to adjust the skin tones, if you feel like they're sort of a little bit too light, you could jump into the luminance. And again, it's going to be orange that you're going to be looking at and you could just bring this down a little bit just to bring a little bit more shadow back into her face. Obviously play around with hue as well if you need to, but I think that looks really nice. Amazing. Cool, so I've got a question for you. Who's up for seeing a little sneak peek of next month's set, Quest 05? Let me know in the chat if you do. I'll see what I can do. Sounds like people are interested. Let's take a look. So let's 
jump over to this image here. Super beautiful image. I'm going to show you Archipelago Quest 05. This is going to be coming out at the beginning of June, so next month. So I'm going to give you a little sneak peek. So with this image, I'm just going to maybe increase the temperature a tiny little bit, but I think the exposure is looking good. Really beautiful photo. So Quest 5, incredible set. You're going to love this one. It's designed by Richard and it emulates the look. If you take a precious stone and hold it up to your eye and look through it, it emulates that look. And this is uh, a bit of a bonus set. So we're going to throw you some additional, additional things uh, next month. So I know we've given you the essentials uh, kit this month as a bonus, but we're also going to be giving you a bit of a larger set. So you can see that there's four presets in this set. It includes a black and white. So it's a bigger bonus set, but it also includes uh, four profiles as well. So lots of stuff to play around with. Uh, again, amazing options to mix and match presets and profiles. So there you go. Nice little extra bonus. So let's take a look at the set. We've got AQ051. Super nice. And if we take a look up here, you've got the Rose Quartz profile. This is applied at 100 as default. And if we drag this to the right, you can see it just brings in that really nice look, that rose quartz toning, and just a little bit more drama to the image as well. Super beautiful. AQ052 works really well for this photo. We've got the citrine profile up here. Again, set to 100 as default. If we drag it left and then drag it right, you can see what that's doing to the image. Super nice. This is possibly my favorite in this set just because I love the toning that this Citrine profile adds. Um, it's got a really nice, really nice look for portraiture especially. So I think somewhere on there looks really good. And then we've got AQ053 with the Jasper profile. So nice bit of uh, drama to the image. As default, we can drag this then left and right and you can you can see what this does. Super nice, I love, I love cranking Jasper up really high on images. It, ha it just adds a super, super nice look. Look at that, so beautiful. Yeah, Mark, old Hollywood, I like that. I actually do get a lot of that feeling from it. Awesome, and then like I say, it's got four presets. One of them is black and white as well, so you get that bonus black and white with its own profile. So AQ054, absolutely gorgeous. We've got the obsidian profile up here. And that is stunning again. I think for this image, I would crank that up nice and high. Yeah, Laura, the Citrine profile is, is the one. I love it. But this is a super nice black and white. It's definitely up there as one of my favorites. So look forward to that. But yeah, I think for this, I think this with the Citrine profile cranked is super nice. Here's the uh, before and after look. So good. Do you think you can mix and match the presets in Quest and still have a cohesive look for your brand? Absolutely. Yeah, I think um, I think although the presets offer diversity, I think they're also uh, cohesive. They have uh, you know a consistent look, or they can have a consistent look. I think the way that you uh, tweak them, you know what you do with the profile, the kind of toning that you go for in your images, you can actually adapt to all of the Quest presets to suit your toning. I'm the sort of person that uses every preset under the sun. Like I don't stick to a particular set of presets. Um, I have my favorites that I tend to go to a lot, but um, absolutely like no matter what, uh, it, it's all dependent on the image basically. I just, I don't have any preconceptions. I just go open the image and go for this particular shoot or this particular set of images, I think this preset might look best. And I kind of go through, cycle through them and choose what I think looks best on the scene. Um, and that might mean that certain shoots, I'm using three different presets from three, three completely different uh, sets. So 
yeah, I definitely think you can create a cohesive look by using multiple presets. And, and for me as a photographer, I find that more engaging when I'm editing because it just allows my creative juices to flow as well. So definitely have a play around. I think sticking to one preset is fine. If that's the look that you go for, um, then great. But I think I love playing with presets and allowing them to steer the way that the image goes or take it to where I wanna wanna take the final edit. So definitely have a play around. Exfilmate has a run for its money. Yes, it does. Yeah, this black and white is very, very nice. So there's a sneak peek of what's coming up next month. Very, very exciting. So as I mentioned at the start of the uh, stream, we're gonna be giving away one of these Archipelago Quest mugs. And now is the time for that. So we're gonna be selecting someone at random uh, to receive the mug. And one of my glamorous assistants is gonna be doing that at the moment. So um, keep your eye on the chat. We're gonna announce who that's gonna be shortly. Whilst we're waiting for that, if you've got any questions, feel free to ask them. If you've got any other thoughts on Quest 4, the Essential set this month, or Quest 5. Yeah, how can you stick to one preset after that? Yeah, totally. Um, <laughs> I think we've got a lot of uh, amazing options and a lot more in the pipeline for Quest as well. So uh, I think it's a bit of a crime sticking to one preset when there's so many amazing options out there. So whilst we're waiting, we can go back into here and let's just see if there's any other images. I think we might have edited most of them. There's uh, two left, I think. So we can tweak those in a moment. Is the citrine already out? No, so this is, uh, this is a sneak peek. Um, a sneak peek at next month's quest release, which will be Quest 05. <laughs> yeah, Perry, that, um, you're not alone. I'm uh, obsessed with coffee. I would be drinking one now if it wasn't so late here, so. All right, cool, so we have a winner, or should I say two winners? I think uh, Richard's feeling very generous and we're gonna be giving away two of the mugs. And the winners for the mugs are Nikki, Usi or Uki, and then Kelsey. There you go, Kelsey just said, so glad I invested in Quest. Well, Kelsey, you're getting an Archipelago Quest mug and Niki as well. So well done. We'll, uh, we'll get those across to you. If you just uh, reach out to us via support, we'll drop the support email in the chat in a moment. If you reach out to us via support, we'll uh, arrange getting those mugs over to you. So. Congratulations, you're gonna get one of these exclusive goodies. Yes, congratulations. Amazing, so that brings us to the end of the stream. We're gonna give out more mugs next time, Richard said. He's feeling incredibly uh, generous today. So there's a, another reason to join us next time for the next stream where we'll be taking a look at Quest 5. Uh, obviously we've got Tempest out, Archipelago Tempest is out as well. So if you haven't taken a look at that already, go take a look, incredible presets. Some amazing reviews coming through for that. Uh, we're also working on a Fuji set at the moment as well. So if you are a Fuji shooter, um, stay tuned for that. We'll be releasing those very, very soon. Yeah, gotta have the music vibes in the background as well. Glad you enjoyed it. Again, thank you everyone for joining. 
and I'll see you in the next one.